Okay, thank you, Jesus. Experience from the Romanian perspective. Uh, I will present you some uh, idea of our school and national uh, Romanian. A few things about the uh, Romanian perspective. A priority strategic objective for the development of Romania is the transition to the information society and knowledge uh, both uh, economic development considering the trends of evolution on global scale. The competitive advantage of Romania in the field of information technology is given by the existence of excellent training human resources. Uh, as uh, then I say, we have uh, people well training, but uh, don't have companies to get this kind of people. Our school get the name of the Nicolae Titulescu, who was uh, the president of General Assembly of League of Nations. It's a big uh, college in Craiova, southwest of Romania. We have uh, a present uh, uh, 306 classroom, over uh, 1,000 students, and more than uh, 60 teachers. In our high school, starting this year, seven new classes of secondary school and one of fifth form grades. Uh, we have uh, computer science uh, over biology, foreign language, and vocational study about uh, sports, volleyball. Thanks to the effort of its pupils and teachers, the school has won many prizes in school competition and games. Our school is uh, in an environment uh, poor and medium social. The parents are not very wealthy, but the people are very interested about uh, science, about uh, learn too much. Science uh, and science uh, Titulescu, chemistry lab, physics laboratory, biology laboratory, and the last uh, multi-touch lab with tablets. <laughs> oh, yeah. As a result of the accelerated development of contemporary society, the information explosion, the science of synthesis, like computer science, cybernetic ecology, is a modern approach to the education to prepare students for the new professional area. In this context, the strongest argument for the integration of discipline is the very fact that life is not divided by the subject. Uh, a team of our college won first place in a contest with special didactic project uh, for the transdisciplinarity. This pro project became official transdisciplinary optional course for the whole country. This project is focused on challenge of knowing what to do with what we learn. And that relationship will be created between teacher and people to be based on constructive dialogue and cooperation. They wanting to bring informed front of students active strategy, useful knowledge, so they integrate easy to, into society. We get uh, four tablets, that kind, in school, in classroom, uh, get uh, the gadget, use all the people, all the students uh, as a, a tool in the classroom for the new transdisciplinarity discipline. Students will discover the truth of reality around them, which they will report to the power requirement of the practical life. In the class at one hour, uh, the students are divided into two groups who are working one on tablets and no digital groups, those using the whiteboard, video, and laptop. They switch the turn that kind of tablet with the subject uh, in history, in science, 
you know, physics or any any people can uh, have the same tool all around the table. Skills covered in this in the course are the accumulation of the learning in formal and non-formal environment, learning throughout experience, new knowledge that lead the student to the real world. Uh, we want uh, the student to uh, get a perspective about one subject, a um, lot of point of view by discipline in uh, transdisciplinarity in a uh, science in a foreign language. These tablets uh, are connected uh, at uh, Google, at internet. They can get anything that project uh, requires. We want students to use effective teaching resources in school, but to look for work and home information so that we use effectively the school time. The term addressed by the initiative to develop the spirit of creativity and ingenuity to learn, to learn, to get documentation and to find answers to different problems. They, they can work like a team or individually around the table. Uh, this uh, was a project at national level. Uh, there are uh, eight labs in the whole country. Uh, and uh, we, teacher and the people, uh, make a workshop for uh, the rest of uh, uh, our region schools. Student demonstration, like this, they worked. A tablet. Also, the teachers was uh, training for this kind of uh, lesson. Another kind that uh, project was uh, accept, as I said, late uh, about uh, in a curricula. It's official, like option, optional curricula. This uh, is an example for extracurricular activity that we have about uh, nanotechnology, Internet of Things. We have a uh, de debate at the national level. And the people uh, said their opinion about the uh, Internet of Things. There was uh, in a whole, uh, at not just science, participate all the kind of people in the school, from biology, from uh, volleyball, all are involved in this debate about science. It's about ethical to use Internet of Things. It was a meeting with specialists. They said their opinion. And uh, near is the pro and cons debate of the people. Two teams, the blue and the red, pro use the Internet of Things and uh, against use the Internet of Things to be connected all the people, all the clothes, all the things of the world like a uh, human. We are as a person are on Facebook, link it. Internet of Things uh, about things cars, of casting, home, facility. At the final was a vote about their opinion on that debate, pro uh, against, and uh, we do a nano charter, Internet of Things. It was very nice meeting for all the people, or the people, and the teacher was there. Uh, now about the interest of the young people in Romania for science and technology. We have uh, Info Education, a contest has a uh, four stage in school, the first level, local, country and national. It's about uh, the final level national in the camp, about uh, 
computer science was the base of the, the this contest. Uh, the main uh, is the software webs with uh, software utility and educational software robots from one year ago and multimedia. Uh, in 20 years of existence, Info Education was a witness of the building of IT educate generation of Romania. This edition has motto, life is a good algorithm, and uh, a very friend, very close friend of this contest is Google. Uh, we have uh, Firefox, B Defender, a lot of uh, men of that uh, these companies uh, are came there, and uh, like a hand hunting for people, for students, the best students on the country, on the IT, are there. They are very interesting to go there and win this contest. This allow to get uh, a gate for, for the company and for the university. This uh, old they work in the uh, environment, in the forest, on the camp. And the uh, open test was the most difficult, but also the most wanted. Uh, they had uh, 24 hours to resolve a problem. It's a one day and one night. They stay there in the hall in the, and resolve the problem. They make a team one night after night in 9 or 10. In the morning, they present their results. It's a hard work there. Words about uh, 200 students were there. Uh, about gender, was there uh, just uh, five girls in that camp, that in science, girls less. <laughs> At the final camp fire, and medalist in 2012 in Romania. Some results of the Romanian students. We had this uh, year International Mathematical Olympiad. We uh, won. Uh, in this uh, July, about uh, three silver medals and three bronze medals. Every year so we have medals. And the International Biology Olympiad held in uh, Switzerland. We had, uh, we won three bronze medal. Uh, physics. We had this year a gold, two gold medals, and three silver medals. Chemistry in uh, July in Moscow, we won three silvers and a bronze medal. Olympiad in informatics, IT, won four medals, two gold. And the uh, International Olympiad Astronomy Astrography, we won five medals, two gold, two silver, and one bronze. The most uh, precious prize for our students in Romania was uh, get uh, in our country, but Ionus Budistanu, 19 years, he won grand prize of the Intel International Science in the uh, United States. He's the first European who won this test. He works 12, 40 hours per day in project, but uh, he is very passionate. That is about uh, passion. Here is advice of your notes for uh, who is in interested in artificial intelligence and uh, who wish to attend the Intel to put passion in what they do. 
This is my secret. The passion in everything. Our Stimula team has a support at uh, uh, all the uh, level. Our uh, inspector, actor's key is main key in the county. Alexandru Gudor, me, representing of the school, and uh, the principal, Mihai. That we need for uh, science all the level, in school, at level superior, in the county. That's it. Thank you very much, Marilena, for your presentation. Uh, there's time for questions. I, I will start in for for our project you've been let's say the the real world i mean uh, uh, everybody are coming from different institutions but you are in a real school and uh, having the, the closest contact with the pupils um uh, actually mm, romanian pupils uh, also are among the, the most interested in in science from our questionnaires and uh, my question is about um, how easy or difficult is this? I mean, um, how you, wh what are the, the difficulties for developing especially extracurricular um, activities in your school? Because the problems that Kiran uh, put uh, in, uh, this morning uh, about the the, um, you have a lot of lessons, uh, a lot of uh, time consuming in the formal education. What are your, your main problems? Our main problems are uh, about uh, the schedule of the people very hard. Uh, we don't have any organization to link uh, school with company like you are, like uh, Diana organization. If you want to came to Romania and open a subsidiarity, it will be fine. We need that. We don't have any experience about this. The school make everything extracurricular and curricular, and would be helpful. No time for extracurricular professional to do something professional. And, and what about the, the um, implication of, of teachers? Teachers uh, are very implicated, but uh, the motivation um, financial is very low. It's very, very difficult to get people, teacher to do extracurricular activity for free. Anytime the salary is low, get back to school to do another activity for free is too much for them. More questions? Marlena, do, do um, many uh, Romanian students um, go to other institutions within Europe? You know, through yes. the, the programs. Yes. And, and the what, what do they bring back? Do you think? You know, what what do they bring back that adds value to? No, usually don't get back. Oh, they, once they go, just, they, they just just go and uh, oh. don't came back to Romania. But do any of your teachers get the opportunity to, to, to go to another education system and uh, work It's with not uh, so facile. It's not so facile for us. Just uh, in Spain, I think uh, language teacher are keen to get uh, teaching here. Get uh, classes for Romanian people in, who work in Spain. It's a foreign exchange. No questions? But all the people uh, the top are uh, in the theoretical high school uh, and they training to get out of country. 
to go in Germany, where is industry or research is very low salary in research. All the medalists of the Olympiad are go far away from country. It's our investment, no back. Um, we just talked about that in lunch break. Um, it's obvious that students in the Eastern European countries, uh, for me, they're more interested in science and technology. And uh, as you said, the students in Romania are more interested in it. Um, why, what is the reason for that? Why are they more interested in? And I thought it's um, your girls are more interested in science and technology, and you just said they're were only five girls attending the contest or the, the, the meeting, the conference. Um, is the amount of girls now incre uh, decreasing or is it increasing or do you think it's stable? No, increasing in uh, medical, in medical for doctors, engineer uh, is stable and uh, the people are, uh, the pupils are, uh, training in Romania and uh, then go in you know, other country. They, uh, for salary, just material reason. Why do you think that they are more interested in Eastern European countries and trying to get more students than in Western European countries? Because they are motivated about salary of their jobs. The, um, level, uh, the increase of uh, IT, for example, is very high. They change it all the time. They are interested in IT, mostly. Okay, thank you, Marilena.